to stop giving the wife experience with the girlfriend title. His dishes? No way. His laundry? I don't think so. Cook his meals for him? I'll have to pass. Those are wifey level things, and he's just with your standard girlfriend package. He's gonna have to upgrade that to wifey status if he wants that. So, as you have seen in the video, right? This video, I'm gonna entitle it The Mistakes That Guys Need to Avoid Making with Women, okay? So, where, what can we, what can we gather from this video? She is talking about if a guy wants her to cook and clean, this is advice he's giving women. If, if a guy wants a woman to cook and clean, he needs to upgrade her from the girl, girlfriend status to wifey status. Unfortunately for her, what she's not actually seeing is that the only way that you can be upgraded, a woman can be upgraded from girlfriend status to wifey, is if she actually cooks and cleans. If she's actually showing wifey qualities, that's when you go, okay, that's wifey. You know what I'm saying? When she's deep throating, that's wifey, right? Right? When she's letting you give her back shots, that's wifey. When she's cooking meals for you in her birthday suit, that's wifey. When she's cleaning, when she's making your bed, when she's being respectful, when she's being submissive, that's wifey, right? When she's buying you gifts, that's wifey. Not a dumb person telling you, oh, I'm only gonna do that if you uh, do this. I'm only going to be wifey if you do, if you, if you make me wifey. No, you need to prove your worth before you get hired for the job, right? No one goes to a job and says, you know what? Um, you need to hire me first, and then I'll let you know my, and then I'll let you know my qualifications. That's just stupid, right? So that is the first mistakes that guys make. They let a woman dictate rules to them, because guys. If you are her best option, she won't detect, like tell you the term. She won't say, okay, um, if you do this, I'll do this. When she sees you as her best option, she will do whatever it takes for you to lock her down. The only reason that she's telling you this is because she doesn't see you as her best option. She's not that attracted to you. This is the same woman that you will have sex with and she will tell you, oh, I don't give head, right? When a woman starts dictating terms to you and telling you how the relationship is going to be, when she's trying to take the leadership role instead of letting you lead, you need to understand that this woman is just a quick smash and that's it, move on to the next one, right? Because a woman that you are going to be seeing for the long term, she needs to be submissive. She needs to let, she, she, she needs to submit to your leadership. She has to be feminine. She has to be cooperative, right? She has, to be submissive. She cannot be in her dominant frame. She cannot be in her masculine frame, okay? Which brings me to my number two point of mistakes that women, that men make with women, right? They, uh, they don't pay attention to the red flags. When this woman started talking, my red flag radar went off. It said this woman is too masculine. She's too dominant, right? She's too in her masculine frame. She's too in her logical frame, right? When a woman is in her logical frame, this is, this, this, is, this is bad. She needs to be in her emotional state if she is going to do anything worth doing for you. But you see, why guys do not pay attention to red flags is because they see this woman and they're like, oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. She's so awesome. Oh, I've never dated a woman this hot. You know what? Screw, screw, screw the, the, the red flag. She will change. Trust me. If a woman is like this in the beginning, she only gets worse. Write this down. A woman is the sweetest when you first meet her. She is the sweetest when you first meet her. So if this is how she is in the beginning, just imagine what kind of nightmarish monster she's going to be down the road. Trust me. Girls, trust me, girls don't get sweeter the, uh, the, more you, the more you date them. A girl is only as, she's the sweetest that she will be in the beginning because she's trying to be on her best behavior, right? 
She's trying to be on her best behavior. So if she's being this ghoulish and monstrous in the beginning, whoo, man. I, I would hate to see this woman in six months after, after you're, 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 you're dating her. This is the kind of woman that would actually kill your car, puncture your tires. So guys, do not be that guy that is so booty blinded that he doesn't see, uh, that he doesn't pay attention to red flags, okay? You don't want to be in a, a, a situation like this dating women, right? Be that guy that you always, be that guy that you're always interviewing women. The first, second, third day. Be interviewing them. You can smash them, but do not put them in a long-term dating cycle if, if you're seeing all these red flags, right? And that brings me to my point number three, the mistakes that guys make with women, right? The mistake that guys make with women is that they are not dating more women. They are not approaching more women. They are not having other options in their roster, right? Why is it important to have other options in your roster? It's because you want to avoid women like this. If you don't have options, trust me, if you don't have options, right, you're going to start thinking with your little head and your little head is going to be telling you, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, let's just, let's just put up with it. And then you will realize too late, oh my goodness, what have I put myself into? That's why I always tell guys, keep approaching, keep, ha keep going on dates. Have multiple girls that you're seeing because you want to be able to pick you you where you want to have a roster that you can pick from right it's it's like a sports team they, uh, they don't just have their their on-field players they 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 not only on-field players but they have substitutes for those on-field players so whether those players are like suspended or they get injured they can take one from the bench and re re replace that guy without even feeling the impact right so guys that's the third thing you want to have options and finally guys finally 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 the mistake that that men make when it comes to dealing and dating women is we as much as we want to say we want to say women are um some women in today's day and age are they ask for so much but we have to bring it back to ourselves the mistake that and our the mistake number four is guys do not put in the work guys you do not put in the work right to be her best option you have to put in the work i see a lot of guys you guys send me emails and you guys are and and it's like you're not putting in the work you're not in shape you're overweight your style sucks you don't have your own place you're not driving your own car you're financially unstable, right? You're financially unstable. Like what girl will want to lock a guy down like that, right? Think about it. So if you want to become her best option, if you want to become a better version of yourself, you have to work on yourself. How do you work on yourself? Get in the gym four to five times a week. Make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're eating healthy, right? If you don't know how to do that, Research. There are a lot of resources online. There are a lot of YouTube channels dedicated to working out and eating healthy. Number two, work on your style. Again, there are a lot of channels. There are a lot of resources that teach men how to dress better. You know, how to dress better. If you can work on these two things today, you can start today to work on these things. They will improve your success with women exponentially. And then finally, every man, I, I, I don't care if you want to do it for women or not. Do it for yourself, do it for your family. Improve your financial status, right? First, get rid of your bills. Get rid of your credit card bills. Pay off your credit cards, right? Because those bills are killing you. Then get six months savings in your bank account. Trust me, when you are, when, when, when your savings is healthy, you're gonna walk and talk differently, right? You're gonna walk and talk differently. Finally, when you've saved up, paid off your credit card bills, now you want to start wealth building. Wealth building. How do you do this? Invest in stocks. Invest in real estate. You can start your own online business. There are courses online that you can take. Enrich yourself. Do the work so that you can actually be that attractive guy to more women in your life. Right? So that if you ever meet a woman... Imagine you become the best version of yourself, right? Best version of, of, of yourself. And you meet a woman that tells you, I'm not going to do it. You're going to be like, next. 
Get out of my face. You know, get get the freak out of my face. There are going to be other women lining up to date you. Okay? Guys, that is the video for today. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, leave me any comments that you guys have about the video. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.